Whoa, that was an abrupt start. Hey guys, I'm LB, and uh, we are back playing more of the Ventura maps. Apparently we start, we start exactly where we left off in each map, so that's neat. We might also be playing part 4 today, but for now we're starting with part 3 of Skyfreight's Ventura series. A continuation of part 2, entering an industrial facility, you must activate the gel pump. Continue on to the next test chambers. This map in the third of the series also uses repulsion gel. Tractor beams, lift platforms, and goo ponds. Medium difficulty. Alright. Let's get started then. Uh, oh, I was pressing the wrong keys. Oh, I'm pressing all the wrong keys. That's, uh... I... Okay, in my defense, what happened was... I pressed... I had my key- I had my hand shifted over on the keyboard by one key. So instead of pressing WASD, I was pressing Q caps lock AS. <laughs> and so I turned on caps lock. Then when I shifted my keys back, I tried to turn off caps lock. But my no clip key is the tab key, which is right above caps lock. <laughs> ah man. I think it's been a long time since I've shifted what is is this the broom closet? I don't want the broom closet ending. I need a key card. Where- where- you mean there? Okay, I guess I need a key card. <laughs> How would I get back here, though, with a key card? Is there a key card in here? Uh, no, I don't think there is. Well, I don't know when we're ever gonna get back here, but if we do get back here, and I have a key card, then I guess we can take a look. Right, maybe this is where I need a key card. Who knows? But for now, why does this look familiar? Maybe I'm imagining things, but this looks a little familiar, and I don't know why. Huh? Hope I didn't accidentally see somebody play this. Well, this part's not familiar, so at least there's that much going for us. I think we need to put the portal there. Or there. I think we want to put the cube here, right? Yeah. And then when the cube falls into the deadly goo, we want it up here, right? Yes, indeed. Fan override, huh? What's the fan override gonna do for me? Is it, is it gonna blow out a keycard that's been stuck in there for years? Or is it gonna smash me into the glass there? I don't know what to expect here. Um... Save, and... Well, that... ...happened not quite how I was expecting it to, but it worked. <laughs> Ah, I thought I was gonna die there. Oh look! A completely untextured solid white keycard. Oh wait, it does have texture, sort of. What the heck? It- I think the texture's bugged out. Huh. Uh, did that do anything? Oh, this is unlocked now. Okay. That explains things. Why does this make a weird sound when you, when you skid it? Well, anyway. Isn't that where the keycard's supposed to come out? Well, I guess I just ate my keycard for the today, so... Not getting back into this facility later. Oh, goodness. <laughs> the screen shake is quite intense. Hey, this fizzler's off now. When did that happen? Ooh. What do I actually want that, though?
I mean, I can get gel in here, but I don't- I think I'm done in this area, so let's just leave. Let's make, like, a tree. That's an old joke. Wow, that looks really strange with my frame rate. <laughs> Gel shows. It's like there's blue that shows for a moment during the animation. That's strange. I don't really know what I'm doing though. I'm trying to get the observation room or. Oh! Oh, that's angled! Okay, that explains a lot of things actually. Can I take the cube with me though? That's what I want to know. And I think the answer is yes, but. I just wanna do it. For the sake of doing it. It's a bit of a tradition in these trying times. Now that fan is definitely frame rate affected. Or not. Oh right, because they don't have it on the, the cube on the button anymore. It was I was confused why I wasn't spinning faster, and I was like, is it did I mess up the game speed somehow? But no. It's just because they don't have the cube on the button anymore. Was that two splashes? Did I did I did my ears deceive me or was that two splashes? Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> Uh, hmm. Slight problem. Wow, look at- you can- what? You can see the spark through the wall? <laughs> I've never seen that before. I've never seen that before, that's amazing. I had no idea that you could see the sparks through the wall. I'm telling you, we, we discover a new bug every day, that's just- <laughs> especially on live streams. Something about live streams. But also, Skyfrit maps, apparently. Alright, let's see if we can do this without getting cube coded. Yeah! I took the cube with us. Excellent. Authorized personnel only? Well, too bad, I'm authorized, and I have a cube. Can't stop me. Oh, you can't stop me. Okay. Interesting. Hmm. Oh, that's not not quite what I expected to have happened there. What are you doing here here, sir? Are you are you what are you doing here? Why is this a thing? Break class in case of emergency or something? That cube just went at a head start. Uh, oh, oh! This fizzler does turn off, but not by any useful means. Oh, that means... that means... What? Okay, that's... I suppose that's the way that would work, isn't it? Fine, I'll do it- I'll do it the Sky Ferret way. <laughs> Cause apparently we cannot turn this portal around at all. There we go. Does this mean we can also hop into this funnel? I think so. Oh yeah, yeah we definitely can. That answers multiple questions at once. Good luck, cube. Physics, behave. 
Physics! And you know, you know that was the solution game. Why you gotta be this way? Why can't you just be normal physics? Why has it gotta be Havoc physics? Is it Havoc? I think Source is Havoc physics, right? Is that what they call it? That is the solution, right? I'm not- am I crazy here? Is this- is- am I just really unlucky, or is that not the solution? Wow, that was close. I went there a bit early there, but thankfully, didn't run into the fizzler. Oh hey, would you look at that? It's a Christmas miracle. I was trying to actually spam the long range use key, but it didn't I didn't need to. <laughs> wow, that The one time I try to cheat, it actually works. Fine. Be that way. Um Yeah. Well that's death. Let's uh let's not do that, please. Let's try this again. Uh, hmm. So I wanted to keep the funnel, if I could. Maybe I can shoot that portal at the last second? No, that- no, that doesn't even work! That doesn't even work at all! That's not the way to do it. Oh, that's not what I was hoping for. Uh... Go away. Oh, that's death. Yeah, okay. Well, not much I can do now, because I didn't save myself in time, so I actually did die. Where is the quick save put me at? What? Why here? Okay. Why is that sound happening all of a sudden? Can we get rid of that really loud and obnoxious sound, please? Is that just gonna be happening from now on? I think- I think that sound is just my life now. That's just the way things are. You know what, why- why don't I do this the smart way? There, like a normal person would. Apparently that sound is just not going to go away though. Not even in the funnel. It's just everywhere, the sound is everywhere! Skyfert, what did you do to make that happen? <laughs> well, I'm very sorry, but I'm gonna use my stop sound key if I can even remember what it is. Uh... There we go. Wait, what did this key do? Oh! Apparently Skyfert left some music in here! <laughs> so, that's my hotkey that starts music. Yeah, we'll listen to this instead, this is good music. Normally that hotkey does not work in Hammer Max, though. Because Hammer Maps don't normally have music on the same frequency as Puzzle Maker and B-Mod. Well, it didn't quite work out how I was hoping it would. Although it feels like it should work, shouldn't it? is not working. Am I missing something? What is this all about? 
Ah. Uh... Sky Ferret, I think- I think you may have forgotten something here. Can't- can't quite put my finger on what it is, but... I think... I think I have... something missing here. Anyway. That just drops it on the cube. That's for when I'm already up on the platform. Can I just... Am I being dumb? Do I just need a double bounce up here? Apparently, yes. I thought this platform was just a little bit too high for a double bounce, but apparently it's just right. Oh, and is that it? I guess that was it. What is this? So tantalizing. <laughs> Transition seal 2, do not enter. Hmm. How much you want to bet we're going there next? I guess not. Oh well. Guess we're not gonna see what Transition Seal 2, do not enter has. Thanks for playing, and next. Ventura 4 by Skyferret, which we will read the description for in just a second once the map loads. Ventura 4, a fourth addition to the sequel. What? That's... No, I don't think that's how that works. <laughs> Our friendly staff will greet you in the lobby. I know you want your 60 bucks. Reconstruct industrial underground dilapidated themes blended together. Tractor beams, cubes, and bounce gel. Alright. Hello? I would like to meet a friendly staff member, please. Can you put some science stuff in me and give me an extra 60 bucks, please? No? Okay. Guess I'll walk myself then. Where are you going? Uh... Uh... What? I can walk into this? Why? What? What? How does... What? How does... I don't... understand. <laughs> how do you... How do you even get the game to act that way? Okay, that's not the kind of radio I was expecting, but it's much better than the other kind from Portal 1. All forms must be filled out legibly and completely before eligible to receive payment of 60 duck, uh, $60. They covered it up... with a different price. But, uh, yeah, this pretty much disqualifies me from ever receiving $60 from Aperture because of, uh, this requirement right here, the whole legibly thing. I'm sorry, but if you've ever seen my handwriting, you know it cannot be read, it cannot be comprehended, it is not possible that any human other than myself can read it. And that's when I'm trying to make it readable. <laughs> I have awful handwriting. Apparently I need to go up here or something? Yes, I know I spent a long time in that lobby doing- what? Doing nothing, but did that spark- what? That spark shows through the ground? How does that work? Anyway, I know- I know I waste a lot of time... Lots of times. I spend a lot of time doing things that aren't really solving the puzzle, but... Hey, I do this for my own enjoyment. This is a hobby. It's not my job. I have a job. It's programming. I write code. This is a hobby. I do what I enjoy. And it's called wasting time. <laughs> Um, what do I do with this cube now? Do I want it somewhere in specific? Uh, can I catch it if it- as it comes by here? Oh, yes I can! 
Not sure if that's intended, but that's what I will do. Why did- why did Aperture put catwalks inside an office? That's confusing. So this is my ultimate goal. What disables the Stizzler, then? Maybe I have to break the glass? Or no, I have to get up there! Oh. Okay. Can I still put a portal on this? Kinda, not really, maybe? Hey, wow, how did I do that? <laughs> I don't actually understand how I did that, but sure. What's with this, though? What is with this, this creepy backside? Hmm. What about here? That's interesting. So now we have gel on a thing that moves. I think that solves all my problems, doesn't it? Whee! <laughs> oh no, 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 no! That spark showed through the cube, even. That spark just so shows through everything. Come on, come on, drop the cube. Thank you. I feel like I'm talking to a dog when I have to get my character to drop a cube. Where was the funnel again? There was the funnel again. There we go. Now the question is how do I get the cube here with me? Is there a portal surface in here I don't know about? Oh, I can just use this, right? Yeah, that works. Hey, you don't see microwaves very often in hammer maps. Assuming this is a microwave and not some aperture invention. I really want to see more reployers, though. That'd be cool. Everybody needs a reployer. That door took a long time to open. Oh, that was that was quite the like the last frame I could have done that. <laughs> that pushed me as I was jumping. Okay, uh, I this is that's not normal. Is this like an homage to the office prank? <laughs> this is this is not normal by any stretch of the imagination. I mean, I guess it technically could physically exist that way if you balanced it just right. But that's definitely the work of ghosts. I'm not- I'm not saying it's ghosts, but it's ghosts. Well, that was neat. Well, okay then. <laughs> I don't know what that was about, but I can only assume that it was Wheatley. Hmm. Hey, this is familiar. Haven't we seen this before? Maybe Skypress used that set piece before, but I feel like maybe maybe it's just a staple to have this goo pond in many Skyfurt maps or something. I don't know. Anyway, what does this button do? Oh, okay. Uh... Good thing that glass is there, so I would've known that in advance. <laughs> oh, I could walk on that if I wanted to. Let's do that.
Christine. <laughs> that's, that's what the old Aperture faceplates look like in B-Mod. <laughs> of course, this isn't B-Mod at all, but, I mean, that's what they look like. Alright. So... I think I see what I need to do here. And it starts like this. There we go. And then we head in here. There we go. And then... What exactly? Something like that, maybe? Would getting the funnel in here help me at all? I'm not sure about. Well, I almost went on the other side of the funnel. That was... How did I get that much... How did I move that quickly in the air? Did I accidentally air strafe? I've never been able to air strafe before. I must have done it accidentally or something. There's no way that was an. Oh, no. Oh. Yeah, makes sense. I guess we can't take the cube with us, though. Oh, wait. Unless we do this. <laughs> you can't stop me. I will always find a way to take the cube with me. Oh, that's required, okay. <laughs> I feel like I've seen this before, too. Huh. Alright. This looks like it might be the end. Yeah, it looks like a transition to the next map, which will have to be the next video, if that's the case. Come on, get on down here faster, please. That's cool looking. Alright then. Well, guys, as always, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I will see you all in another video. Goodbye!